What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. It's Monday. Today, we are talking about insecure. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Try to, at least. Um, a lot of stuff is still going on around the country. And insecure was really, truly a nice a nice break for some of us, right? And um, so it was nice to watch Insecure because the news feed, the timeline, the wherever, whatever, whatever you want to call it is just full of everything, right? And it's a lot. So we want to make sure that you all are the same way that, you know, we were with the corona is the same thing you want to make sure that you are limited limiting limiting your um what you're ingesting also what you're sharing be mindful um i don't think that anyone is going to miss any news i mean unless you think it's like super duper important um be mindful of sending images of things because some, for some people some people can handle all of this stuff some people can't some people who are sensitive have to you know kind of see what the what's going on and then retreat a little bit so be mindful of sending people stuff too like i said i don't think there's anything that anyone hasn't seen um and they may not want to see it so just be mindful of that um, last night insecure was a really good episode I don't I can't remember who directed it but it was a it when I tell you the thing that stood out to me the most about the episode was how it was shot um, especially the scene with Issa and Lawrence at dinner and how it was like shot <clears throat> Where they were getting like over the shoulder, over his shoulder, over her shoulder, directly in her face, directly in his face. So you could see nothing but him or her talking. And then they had one angle of Issa from like this way, like di like diagonal. And it was like coming down on her face. And then through, it was like almost as though, I don't know, we were like in on their conversation. And then there was this one shot of both Issa and Lawrence where it was very, very slow. And I was like, is my TV tripping? And it was like very, very, very slow panning over to Issa and then closing, closing in on her face. Whoever directed it, it was, there was, it was beautifully shot. And you know how, I don't know what it is, but you know how last week I was saying like all of the scenes with Andrew and, um, Molly were very awkward to me and I don't know I don't even the scene with Issa the sex scene with Issa and Lawrence was so beautifully shot even though I did not want that to happen okay I did not want that to happen but um it was beautifully shot it was really shot well um just the whole episode so whoever directed the episode shout out to you because it was really I didn't take any notes, y'all. Um, I'm just going to go by my tweets last night. Um, so they start off where they left off, you know, like showing you what happened from last week. And then, um, and then um, Issa meeting Lawrence for dinner or drinks, meet, meeting him for drinks. And... As soon as she walks in, let me tell you something. I'm, the one thing about Insecure I'll tell y'all that I love is like, you can't look down for a second or you will miss a text message. You will miss a fall. Baby, when Issa fell, I hollered and I missed it at first. I was like, what happened? Why is she on the floor? <laughs> I looked down, baby. I saw when she walked in and I blinked, honey, and Issa was on the floor. I hollered. I, and see, and that's what I was like uh, with the sex scene. I was like, please, please, please. Even though I didn't want the characters, Issa and Lawrence, I don't want them to be to get, I don't, I didn't want that to happen. I guess this episode, this episode is for the people who need closure in relationships, right? There are some people who are like, all right, see you deuces, see you when I see you. And there are some people who need closure in relationships. And this episode was for the for the people who need closure a lot of people needed to see Issa and Lawrence close that 
up, you know, um, especially the way it was like very awkward for all of the, you know, for them to come together, always on eggshells, you know, trying to figure out. I love the fact that they were being honest and forthright with each other. And even though like, even when she was saying, when she was saying how she didn't ever, she didn't want to come home sometimes, um, she didn't feel like she was wanted. I love that they really just talked about that because a lot of the time people don't think that women I don't know why people don't think well, I know what well we we talk about how women women cheat but they just don't get caught because of how things like this turn out the man's ego is so bruised that he doesn't even think twice about you know thinking about what did I have to contribute to this you just think about like you did this to me it's not what did I have to, did I have anything to do with this and I love the fact that they did that and I love the fact that I thought when she was telling him about how she felt I thought he was gonna get into his ego because there was moments I don't know what's going on with Jay Ellis okay but there was moments where he was like smirking and laughing and stuff and I was like what is so funny I need to know what's so funny because when he got the text from Condoleezza when when um, Issa went into the the restroom he started smiling afterwards and I was like, what is he smiling about? What is Lawrence laughing about? I want to know. He is so cute. Jay Ellis has really, I didn't think like from the, from the first episode of Insecure from the first season to now, oh, Jay Ellis has grown on me, baby. He looks, he was looking cute at the little dinner, his little jacket he had on. Baby, let me get to my, let me get to my thing. So anyway, so they sitting down, they talking or whatever. It's too loud in the place. People are, you know pushing them and stuff like that so they like you know you, let's go to a, um let's go to let's go someplace else let's go someplace else and um hold on let me get to my tweets so i thought it was cute where they were like having their little banter their con what we like about Issa and lawrence and i think a lot of people want ha like what they like about their relationship is that it's comfortable and it's familiar and oftentimes when things like that are comfortable and familiar we tend to fall back into those things um into those relationships with people whether it be you know romantic um you, just, you know it's just a familiar energy and so it's comfortable and so we like that with Issa. they bicker it's very natural it flows it's not awkward like this relationship with um what's the name Molly and Andrew like I don't you know what I'm saying so what happened can people hear me I'm loud child let me let me think, let me tell y'all something last night okay I got these edibles I should have brought them with you I what brought them with me I got these edibles that um I ate like four of them right before I went to bed baby the diva woke up like ooh <laughs> up like yes i woke up wanting to do yoga wanting to stretch yes <laughs> so yes i'm feeling the remnants of that um from last night okay let me why is my phone keep dying it's not dying but you know how it goes off when the battery is on low power mode anyway so i thought it was cute and he was she was like maybe i changed maybe i changed too i was like mm -hmm, lawrence whatever whatever maybe you have changed but lawrence's apartment was really nice it was decorated nice i was like look at lawrence i was like do lawrence live by himself he was really like i want to show you that i've changed and all this other stuff so they're all they're both in different places and they're like yeah and then Issa Issa was making little jokes like yeah you missing out and stuff like that and so she orders a a Prosecco and oh whiskey he orders it for her and she's like that's not my drink no more but I order Prosecco and vodka and, he, and then he was like some some like oh you ain't shit or something like shit somebody said about you not being shit she was like maybe I still ain't shit oh he said what did he say I forgot what he said when she was he was like oh you realize you ain't shit you really ain't shit something she was like maybe I still ain't shit but you know, Molly, I think Molly told Issa she she ain't shit, too. I think that she told her that, too. So, you know, <laughs> they had um, a, a good, honest conversation. They had a good, straightforward. I was just hoping that he wasn't wasn't going to jump back into his ego when she let him know that part of the reason why I did step out on the relationship was because you... Um, weren't there for me you didn't make me feel loved you did not make me feel wanted and you didn't make me um 
and um, sometimes I didn't want to come home. And he said, you know, in the wind down or whatever, Jay Ellis was saying that Lawrence was the characters like feeling like, dang, I did have something to do with it. It wasn't just all you, but I did have something to do with it. And a lot of the times when people cheat, some of the times, especially, I, you know, I don't even want to put it on that, but some of the times it's because there, there's something missing in the relationship. And whether it's just attention, whether it's emotional attention, whether it's physical attention, whether it's a mental stimulation, you know, um, that that can happen. And that's what happened. He was like, why Daniel? He wanted to know why Daniel? What could it could it have been just anybody? She was like, no, but you know, it's not even like that, you know, no. And I was like, okay. So I thought it was cute that they mentioned Kirk Franklin and the Kirk Franklin and what is it? Um, Fred Hammond was on um, Versus. Is that who it was? You know, I'm not a real gospel girl, but I was listening to it because I do. I don't know what it is about Kirk Franklin. I think it was the air. It was the airy because I was like, he was very like, I was like, what? And I, I, okay, let me tell you what I like about Kirk Franklin real quick. And we'll go back to, because he, he, he was mentioned or the song, um, Stomp, what is it? Stomp came on, um, Insecure last night. So let me talk about Kirk Franklin real quick on Versus. It was, it's something about Kirk Franklin. He has a very, like, he likes to bicker. He likes to joke. He's very, I'm glad he's come out of that trying to be perfect, like trying to appear perfect. Um, I, I like that about his personality where he kind of like bickers with people and he's very, he has good comedic timing. And I was like, it's, and I thought, is he a Libra? But it turns out he's a, an Aquarius. Cause I was like, it's, it's a lot of like, he has a lot of good, like he's, he's good with timing and he's good to watch. He's inter he's entertaining. He's good to watch. He has a, he has a, a, an energy that calls people to him, Kirk Franklin his little cell <laughs> remember when um when at the um hoodie awards when it was um what's his name mr brown is that his name and lavelle crawford and kirk franklin remember when it was all going back and forth oh my god i was like that is like when they was talk it was going back and forth. that was the funniest thing ever i can't remember the man's name who plays mr brown but y'all know who i'm talking about y'all i'm sure y'all put it in the comments anyways back to Issa and, and lawrence anyways yeah i said whoever directed the episode the slow panning shots going in closing the closing in on their faces was beautiful um, they went to an art walk afterwards. They, you know, they didn't want the night to end. You know, I was like, okay, Issa. They didn't want the night to end. It was cute. It was a vibe. It was very, like, very familiar. It was very, and it's like, you know, after you've, you've been with somebody and then you come back to one another after, you know, changing frequencies. And it's like a, do, it's a, it's a new vibe. It's a new feeling. But to me, I feel like it wasn't their confessions to each other about you know feeling i you know i i'm happy with you i didn't want to you know leave i didn't want the relationship to end i wanted to come home but you know my ego and all this other stuff all of these confessions that they they were making honey they should have played usher that would have been funny i was really hoping there was no comedy or no comedic break in the sex scene and which and thank you thank you thank you thank you i was like please i don't want nothing funny to happen because this is a very it's beautifully shot like i said even though i did not i was like no isa no but isa wanted it she wanted lawrence lawrence want they wanted closure that's what they wanted and that's what happens and and i don't know how that's gonna happen he mentioned condoleezza i mean Con Con condola he mentioned Condola. You know, he's very honest about that. I don't know where it's going. Um, she was wanting to meet up with him. Honey, he left Condoleezza standing, honey. Issa was like, I'm not ready to leave. You know, dropping the Uber off. She ordered all this food. It was all, it was cute. It was the, it was a very cute episode. It was really for the audience who wants Lawrence and Issa back together. It wasn't for me. Who, But whoever directed it, that was for me. That all was for me. Baby, when they run, they at the art walk. I didn't. Did anybody get to see the piece of art that Lawrence bought? 
I didn't get to see it anywhere. I need to go back and watch the episode. They were both looking at it. The next thing you know, it, it was wrapped up and we didn't get to see, put, they put it down and they got to screwing. So I don't know what the, what the piece of art is or what's going on. Y'all let me know if y'all, if y'all saw it. They run into TSA Bay, honey. And it was so funny and it was so real and it was so ignorant and it was just hilarious. And it was like, well, how do you, how do you know Issa? And the fact, I love the fact that Issa and Lawrence have a friends they're friends like they they're friends like they're friends like it's a very like yeah we have sex with each other and we like each other like that but we're friends and we can joke and we can still have these jokes and it not be i don't know i just i like relationships like that where you are friends with the person that you are screwing i love that i love it like we are homies and we're cracking jokes and stuff like that so when tsa bay hit the corner lawrence was like wait a minute lawrence was like um so how do you know her he was like yeah we used to get down or whatever he was very honest i was here for it even the girl was like the girl, <laughs> the girl he was with was like what he was like what she was like yeah so they was laughing back and forth. So when he saw Issa, he had a brat, brat like that. And, and Issa was like, oh, my God. <laughs> baby, when when he walked away, Lawrence, he was like, baby, that is all I needed. Baby, that is all I needed. That was so funny to me. And then, he, and then all of a sudden, Lawrence was like, all right, then. Well, I had a great night. And he kissed Issa on the cheek and walked away. I was like, what's wrong with Lawrence? Baby, when, when Lawrence hit that cornerback and was like, brat, brat. Baby, I holler. I say Jay Ellis's ass is so stupid. Cause it was like I saw Lawrence, but I saw Jay Ellis and all of that. Like that whose idea was that? Who wrote that? But Natasha Roswell, shout out to her. She wrote the episode. It was beautiful. Whoever directed it, beautiful shout out. I can't I, I can't get over the direction. Anyway, um, yeah, they went to the art walk. It was beautiful. And then Lawrence was living by himself. And then, um, yeah, they started screwing whatever. It was really a beautiful... I was really like... The whole episode, me, I was really impressed by the episode. The way it was shot. That was... It was... That was... It was visually pleasing to me. Um, the song at the end is called Out of Your League by Blood Orange and Steve Lacey, which was really good to me. I loved it. I really loved it. It was overall, it was a really good episode. Um, I'm glad they were honest with each other. I'm glad they were, you know, uh, he's going to San Francisco. I don't know if he got a job in San Francisco. He's going to be going back and forth. They weren't really clear. Um, she walked home. I don't know what kind of shoes she had on. She was walking in them shoes. I was like, what kind of shoes does Issa got on? But I love the shots looking at LA. I love, that's one of the reasons why I really, really, really love Insecure. But, um yeah overall it was like i said it was to me was the best episode it was the best episode even though y'all wanted Issa and lawrence to be screwing and stuff i didn't want that i did not want that why don't i want Issa and lawrence because they need to move forward they can be friends we could we could be the we could do we could do friends we could do friends um i don't think that condoleez is gonna like that that they were screwing i don't think that because he went back and got closure during a breakup. That's not cool. That is not cool. That is not. We're, we're on a break. So now he was free and clear to screw Issa. He knew, and the fact that he was about to let Issa leave. You a sucker. You still a sucker, Lawrence. Why you didn't tell her? You know you wanted her to stay. Why did she have to be the one to be the fucking aggressor in that? Why does she have to assert herself to stay? Honey, I would have left. Girl, no, you better ask me to stay. You don't want me to stay, I'm not staying. And and then she didn't want to leave. Like Issa Ray said in Wind Down, she was thinking like Issa's like, like if I leave, he might go to Condoleezza's house. When he gets to Condoleezza's house, they might re-spark something and get the and I might miss out on this closure. That's all that was, was closure. That was for y'all. This episode was for y'all. Anyways, y'all, take care of each other. You know, be mindful of the, the images and the videos that you ingest. Just be mindful of that. Um, if you can, you know, don't feel guilty about not being out there. That is for, you know, we all have our role in this. Everybody does different things differently. 
You know what I'm saying? If you want to donate to people, if you want to help out in the field, if you want to, whatever, whatever you want to do, you want to be on the front lines, you on social media, whatever you're doing, don't feel guilty. There's a place in this for everybody. This it's, it's wider than just, you know, being out in the street. You people have, you have responsibilities, you have families to take care of. Don't make, let people, um, make you feel guilty about, Keep protecting your in, in, your um, energy and minding your business. Some people are like I'm just I'm minding my business, and, and that's okay too. Y'all take care of each other. Um, protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. It was a wonderful, wonderfully shot episode. Shout out to the director. I'll put all the information in the, the the description. I was like, who directed this? This was really good. I didn't recognize the name. I thought it was going to be one of the, but it's clear that I don't know. It was somebody I didn't know, child. All right, y'all. Take care of each other. Talk to you soon. In the comments, peace.